Yo, what's going on good people? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy LLB. I hope you're having a really, really good day. Uh, today's a little bit of a different one. My guys over at Vocella have recently sent me through one of their newest products. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty different. It's not like a VST. It's not really any kind of effect plugin. Nothing to do with that. It's a voice to MIDI software. So basically, if you own a USB microphone, you can basically turn your voice into MIDI. So you can hook this thing up to a flute, a piano, or your drums, doesn't matter. And you can turn your voice into a beat, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Hey man, they're about to drop the new software for it and it's called the Doubler 2 that drops on the 20th. They've sent me through like a beta version of the software. So yeah, I'm just gonna play around with it and just try and come up with something cool with the microphone, turn the whole thing into a beat, just, just using my voice, I guess. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this one. All right. All right, man, so as I was saying, this is Doubler 2. Now, you'll notice that I put two at the end of that. That is because they did have one before that called Doubler, and that required this mic, this specific mic, which is from Doubler, but now they've released Doubler 2, which is software only. So basically, if you already have a USB mic, then you can make it work. You don't have to like go ahead and buy this mic, and basically, it's just a more cost-effective way. Yeah, this is what it looks like. You may have actually seen a few of the YouTube producers making beats with the old version of this, and I've played around with that software as well. The interface is kind of similar with this, but they've added a whole bunch of different features, new scales, new ways to make beats with your mouth. So I'm not going to get into the proper like nitty-gritty stuff of how to get this thing set up. It's pretty straightforward, actually. But instead, I'm just going to make a beat. I'm just going to make a beat with my voice. Start off with chords. It's pretty cool. So if I wanted to play chords, I can literally just click this chord button right here, select my scale, and pick the key, and then just go crazy with it. Let's try that. It's even done it through the octave as well, I wasn't expecting that. I might even turn these into seventh chords, and I think you can actually do that in here as well. We'll come into chords, F minus seven instead of just an F minor. Uh, fucked up straight away. Uh, some shaper box, had a bit of a filter to it. Okay, nice. Now, next thing I want to add is, I want to add some like vocal. What can I use? Maybe the Mellotron. Uh... Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna follow the, um, I'm just gonna follow the chord progression. Okay, cool. Kind of happy with that so far. What I'm going to do is stack another layer onto those chords, some basic triads, but I'm going to use like a roadsy sound. And instead of the chord progression going like, uh, instead of it going up, it's going to go down. Same chords, but just transposed differently. <laughs> oh man, I can't sing. I'm gonna offset these chords just a little bit, just maybe by like one bar, like, like that. Strum it out. Okay, cool. I think we're almost getting there, you know. This might be a really basic beat. Yeah, this, it's lacking something in the top end. It needs some kind of nice bright sound just to fill out this melody. Maybe go with the Mellotron again. <clears throat> Uh, 
this is kind of different, you know, it kind of forces you to make different, not forces you, but like you just naturally make different melodies because you, you're not clicking it in or you're not playing it with the keys, you're sort of using your voice. Oh, that's kind of vibey. I want to keep the top end in that sound. Just soften up this, this section. Vibey! Okay, <laughs> it's time to add in some like percussion. I might just pull in like a nice subtle um, percussive loop, just something that's just going to give it a bit of, you know, a bit of swing. <laughs> Maybe even a hi-hat loop. EQ out a load of the frequencies as well. Yeah, subtle, but you can hear it there. It gives it a bit of bounce. This is starting to come together. I don't want to do too much with this, you know. I think the melody is basically there. Yeah, there's my loop, I think. I'm just going to bounce this thing out as a loop right now. Yeah, now we can go in with the drums. Now, there's another feature within this microphone that is pretty cool. This is a cool way of, like, finding a different bounce with your drums. You know when you kind of, your drums kind of fall flat or you feel like you're doing the same thing all the time? This is probably a really good way to mix things up and, and keep things fresh. So all I'm going to do is open up an FPC. Then Dublin kind of links to the FPC in FL Studio. I'm just going to open up an empty preset. And I'm going to add in a clap for this. So I'm just going to pull in a clap from the hypnosis kit. I think that's the one right there. And I know that I want to add a snare as well. So all i got to do is come into the doubler and I can basically train this to recognize certain phrases that I make with my voice. So if I make like a that could be the snare, if I make like a that can be the clap. So I'm going to program that to do that, if that makes sense. So all i got to do is come to record takes and then I'm going to have it recognized as a clap chord. And then my snare. Cool. Now this could be a bit inconvenient if you had to keep going in and, and training this thing to recognize certain phrases, but it actually saves this. So so next time I open this thing up, I don't have to go back in and re-record all this stuff. It's already kind of saved in, you know. Hey. Hey. Okay, let's go with an open hat. Open hat. Right here. Just gonna record it real quick. Okay, let's try a perk. I want some kind of bongo. Maybe that could work. Way off beat, but I can fix that. Okay, I'm just gonna add a hi hat. I already know that I want to have like a two step hi hat for this beat, so I'm not gonna use a doublet to do that. I'm just gonna add that in and add a two step to it. I think something like this will sound good. A little roll right there. And then just repeat it here. Maybe add like a little bit of variation in the second half. Switch this to like a little triplet roll. There you go. Okay, I think it's time for the 808. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with my voice, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> I'm going to give this thing a shot. I'm just going to go with the Hypnosis 8081. I think I got it. I think I got it. If like you're just plugging this into a USB, the latency is a little bit slow. Might drop this down maybe by one or two cents. Yeah, this is hard, man. The only thing that's sticking out for me is just the latency. I've got this thing plugged directly into my laptop. And yeah, because it's like that slight bit of latency, it does throw you off a little bit when you're programming in the drums. But I feel like, let me try and plug this into my interface and see if that fixes the issue. What the f***ing hell are you, you great gangly f***? Oh, 
vibe. Yeah, man, that is a vibe. Okay, so thoughts thoughts on this thing thoughts on the voice to midi software i think it's sick i think it suits a lot of skill levels like if you're brand new to making beats and you don't know anything about music theory this thing's perfect because you don't need to know anything all you got to do is sing it in if you have an idea and you want to get it down quick you don't have to figure out what chord progression it is you don't have to figure out what the top melody is all you got to do is pull out this thing or just your own usb microphone and just lay it straight in it only takes a couple of minutes to set this thing up it syncs up really well with fl studio so yeah if you guys are stuck for inspiration or you just want to like switch things up a little bit this is definitely a cool thing to go with but yeah big shout out to vocella for sending this thing through i actually really like how this thing works and yeah whenever i'm stuck whenever i've got beat block then i can just open this thing up and just start humming in melodies start beatboxing and i've got something so yeah that's the full beat i hope you guys enjoyed this video again shout out to vocella for sponsoring the video so yeah definitely worth a try if you a don't have any music theory knowledge b you do have music theory knowledge but you're kind of in a slump c you just want to like switch up the way you make beats yeah it's just different man it's just a different way to make beats i'll leave the link in the description to vocella's website if you guys want to go and check out any of their products definitely worth a look and yeah that's going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed this one have a great great day and i'll see you guys in the next one